In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe to be one of the better defenses up and coming in this game. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden player they can become. So if you want to get better at this game, be sure to click the subscribe button. Now, what we're talking about in this video is the cover four drop. I'm giving you a specific setup that I like against Gun Bunch right now. Um, the beauty of the nickel three through five odd defense is it has the cover six and the cover four drop, as well as um, things like the cover three cloud, things like um, you know some of those unique coverages. So I really like that about this defense. And it happens to have the best play in Madden, which is the LB Cross 3 Show 2, the best blitz in Madden right now. And if you want to learn how to run this 3 through 5 odd defense completely, I'm going to put a link to my defensive ebook in the description of this video. You can learn the whole defense for just 15 bucks. All you got to do is go down to that description, click that link in the description. It'll take you to my website and you'll be able to pick up that defensive guide. We'll get it to you within five minutes of purchase. And um, I really think it's going to help you guys a lot on defense this year because defense is not easy that being said this cover four drop setup that i'm about to show you is really good against gun bunch especially if you are able to use zone drops um i don't have zone drops allowed in practice mode but there's some things that you can do with zone drops and i'll just kind of belabor the point to say you can put your cloud flats on 30 your curl flats on like 10 or 5 and then your hook curls on like 10 or 5 as well. I'd probably choose 5 um, for the hook curls because of how good hitches are. The reason I'm saying that is because we could basically create essentially a cover 6 out of this. But that being said, I just want to show the cover 4 drop first. And I want to show you the concept um, that I think is really, really powerful in this year's game. So let's jump into it. Cover 4 drop out of 3, 3, 5 odd. We're going against Gun Bunch. Best offense in the game. And all we're going to do is we're going to base a line. And then we're going to press coverage. That's it. Now, with this base align, real quick on this left side, because we have this safety here, I'm not too worried about this. What I like to do is bring these safeties down into the box, kind of like so. Obviously, we're going to spread our line for the blitz. Um, and then we're going to, you know, probably spread our linebackers too. And then once we spread our linebackers, what I like to do is actually take this linebacker and kind of manually bring them inside a little bit more. Um, you could just repinch them or whatever. But anyways, the point is these uh, outside zones. So I'm not going to mess with the blitz. I'll we, we cover that in the guide. I'm not really worried about the pressure. I just want to show you the coverage. So that being said, let me just go to, and also, also really important, shade outside. Um, shade outside. And then what you want to do is you want to spotlight um, whoever you think is going to be on the corner route. So for this, so how you spotlight a receiver is you hit triangle X and then the receiver you want to spotlight. So for me, I want to do Godwin um, most of the time. And then you hit X again. So if you're on Xbox, it's Y, A, um, the icon of the player. So R, B, and then A again. For PlayStation, it's triangle X, R1, X. Okay? So just something to be aware of. So we're spotlighting this guy. The reason why we spotlight is because it's going to tell these deep quarter zones to play a little bit more aggressive on that specific player. That specific player, it happens to be the player from Gun Bunch that is going to run a corner route and also the player from Gun Bunch that is going to run a crossing route. So we're in a decent spot. So that being said, let me just go over um, Z spot here. So just streak the circle receiver. And I just want to show you this. But I want you to watch the R1 receiver. So you see that right there? That is what we found. And it only happens out of a pressed cover four. If your cover four is backed off, it's not going to work. So let me show you this. And honestly, here, I must have messed something up because he's actually, oh, no, he's pre-pressed. Okay, perfect. Take a look at this. Easy docked. Oh, wait, he's there. Okay, and this is something that I picked up, honestly, from Drini, uh, watching Drini. I knew this earlier in the year, but he actually did this in a game, and I didn't realize how good it would actually do against some of the best offenses in the game, especially from Gun Bunch, because Gun Bunch doesn't have a, like, unless they motion out, which they're motioning out into a quarter zone, it's not going to have a, a shot to be able to get open. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to motion Brown out, and I just want to show you how this is going to kind of pan out for us so we're just gonna you know we're just gonna do this and now i want you to watch the same thing see how this quarter zone gets outside leverage also important 
So take a look at what it does to the to the um, the corner. You see that when you motion the streak out, it's not as it's not as good, um, but it's still kind of there. The other thing that I noticed out of this was out of this cover four was these stock curl flats do decent. Now again, I didn't shade coverage. I forgot to shade coverage. Don't forget to do your spotlighting. I think it really does help this year. Um, but that being said. I'm motion out brown and watch how this plays r1 pretty i mean not really there right not really there so now let's go over crossing routes um so let's go over verticals and first i want to do it with uh without a streak over there so like let's say they drag and i'm not saying that's what they do all the time i'm just saying let me just show you it first with this and then we'll go over the rest of this this is more of a really good defense also from trips tied in because most of the time trips turned in doesn't have a vertical pull route on that side okay so um again we're just gonna we're just gonna spotlight r1 and watch this r1 watch this outside quarter just bag him every time that is huge now we can take away those two areas of the field without having to drop an additional 30 yard zone or whatever okay so now let me show it to you with a streak and it will be better with a streak because they have a pull route on the field. So I'm not trying to say that this is bulletproof, but what I'm trying to say is it gives you a pretty good shot. Um, it really does. It gives you a pretty good shot. So uh, I'm going to spotlight R1 and then we're just going to run verticals and I want you to watch how this plays. You'll see here, see him come off. He doesn't guard him. I'm not saying that. Obviously, if there's a pull route, you've got to go get him yourself. But he's closer than he was, and it's it's a harder throw than it, it than it was. Um, the other thing is this absolutely bags uh, double post. So let me just go back to po a post route and show you how this works against a post route. So what I would do is manually kind of bring these guys into the box a little bit, you know, do that number. But now watch this post route. Pass lead inside. Oh, double post. Oh, no, no, no. Not adding that. Takes away those routes. Okay. So then it allows you to do things, you know, kind of all kinds of different things. One of the things that you can, I mean, all kinds of things with your coverage underneath. Um, let me show you the verticals play one more time. And again, all we're going to do um, is we're going to actually move this guy just inside. Okay. Just move him just inside just a little bit. And the reason I like to do that is because I think it puts him in a little bit better of a position um, to guard it. So because the, the streak's technically going to be outside of him. So he's going to kind of be looking back. Pass lead this to the left. See that right there? See him come off? You click onto that player and you've got a shot at stopping this. Okay. So now what we've done is we've been able to, with these quarter zones, um, and also cover four, in my opinion, is probably the safest coverage this year. But not only are you able to hang with these deeper routes and occasionally jump them, especially if you have an acrobat, okay? But now what we could do is we could drop Golston into a vertical hook. And then I could bring David, if I wanted to, I could do something like this and drop hard flat on both sides now. And I got a yellow zone on the right side to take away, um, you know, some kind of snap throw, whatever. So now I'm in a decent spot, honestly. Uh, my pressure is going to get home. I got really good pressure. And, you know, this is good. It's good against plays like Flood. It's good. It's Watch this thing. Just I mean, he doesn't get him there. But it's it's putting you in a position to actually have to force them to work. That's what I like about this defense. Again, just kind of moving these guys around a little bit helps it. Get these quarter zones down. The more down they're in, the more they're in the box. Uh, in my opinion, the better. If you wanted to leave this guy here, you certainly could. Um, let me show you what that does against a corner. So, like, if they, let's say they do something like, like I don't want to show motion right now, but let's say we just leave him in. Okay, watch what it still watch it watch it hang. You see that? That's why you baseline, or or just move him outside just a little bit. The reason I like to have. The reason I like to base the line is because of that. And what I also have noticed is, again, though, you don't want these quarter zones outside. You want them inside. So I'm just going to move them just a little, just one little bitty step inside so that when they motion, um, so that when they motion out of this Z spot, which will happen, they will motion this guy to the right and put him on a fade or a streak. 
Now watch this outside quarter. Um, let me do my little spotlight trick and shade outside trick, but watch this. And that time he actually got open, but you see what I'm saying? If you get them inside of the zone, they're gonna kind of look back a little bit better, okay? But anyways, guys, that's cover four. And I really do think that this gives you a good shot. Um, it doesn't bag everything. I'm not here to tell you that, okay? I, I'm not saying that. But it is a good defense to go to in complement with some of the other things from the 335 odd, like the match coverages. Um, one of the things I was gonna, I, I just wanted to hit on just real quick, um, and this is a really good, if you're wanting to stop some of those crossers and stuff like that, this is really good for this. Just put this guy out here in a cloud flat, put that guy in like a deep zone, and then you might take this guy, you probably blitz that guy, you know, and then basically you see what we've got here. We've created a cover six in essence. I need to put this guy in a deep half, so not a deep whatever, okay? So now I've got my cover four drop to this side of the field, okay? And then I can easily do whatever, right? I can drop this guy in a curl flat, hard flat, it doesn't matter. I can man him up, I can do all kinds of things. Okay, the biggest point is I want you to watch it. Your job is really the running back in this, but watch this, watch this play this R1. He's not he's not really open. And in 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 Mutt, you can you can put zone drops on the field for that. You could put 30 yard clouds, which are really, really glitchy this year, in my opinion. Um, if you play 30 yard clouds out of Tampa 2, that's a really good way to play. So bottom line is all you do is you base the line of cover four drop spotlight the receiver that you might think is going to be on a corner route and then what i like to do is shade outside and underneath the reason i like to shade underneath um out of this is because it tells those quarters you're going to ba basically it tells it all it's going to get you hard flats on the field but it also is going to tell your quarter zones that you know you might need to look out for the the, the post or the or not the post but the corner um so you're playing essentially short to deep so now Pass lead right, you see he sits right on it and takes it away. So that is why I like this defense so much. If you want to learn my full nickel 335 odd defensive guide, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. Guys, we've committed to updating that guide for you with any patches or any updates. We've literally updated that guide probably every every other day. Uh, we took a couple of days on the weekend. We didn't update it. But other than that, we've been updating it. We're getting ready to do a massive update um, here in the next couple of days with some of the concepts and some of the new things that we're learning about defense. But guys, if you want the best defense in the game, get the 335 odd defensive guide. It's in the Giants playbook that has 335 wide in it if you still want to run that, or if you want to run two for five, or if you want whatever. Best defense in the game, in my opinion, is this 335 wide defense, or uh, 335 odd, I'm sorry. Um, 335 wide is good, but 335 odd is better. It sends better pressure, has better coverage concepts, and in my opinion, um, it's not too bad against the run as well. We actually show you how to stop the run out of it. So that being said, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And if you want to get my 335 odd defensive guide, there's a link in the description below. You can get that defensive guide for just 15 bucks. It's the best defense in the game right now.